did you end up having a jiu-jitsu gym in a laundromat? This is actually part of the reason I moved to Mount Vernon. I guess there was a Pan Express in town. It's soap and soap. It smells better than not having soap. This is the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. And I rolled it over and it had maggots with eating all its belly and it burst. Our parents raised us telling us that we were wizards. How you like sleeping on the mat? I don't know. I'm just chasing a dream, I guess. I'm extremely happy for him to be my first black belt. I'm very proud of him. This is the box. You can see all the screws poking out. We got a bunch of guys coming in, moving in the gym. I dropped the whole goddamn platter over there. We have, I think, like two fighter houses now. I was born in Nicaragua. It was like no indoor plumbing, no running water. This is my trailer that I grew up in. You snuck in on me, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Watching someone make a dream and accomplish it, you know, and really live it in that moment, that's what this is all for. If you dedicate yourself every day to something and you've truly given everything you can to that, it'll work out. Things will work out. And I've always felt like that was going to happen with this. Rono says I won't eat it. You think I'll eat it? I, th I think he's gonna eat it. Hey, you gotta get the zapper and then just pick it up. You think so? Oh, oh shit! Let her close up on that thing. Okay, so what we have is batch? Protein. <laughs> that one worse than before? Yeah, that one has pus in its ass. How many horse flies do you eat a week? Every day. It's like 12 o'clock drilling, 1.30, horse fly, nap, horse fly, training at night. Things have been crazy, man. Now we have like international recognition. Andrew's undefeated on who's number one and you know, uh, like almost broke into the top five now at Black Belt, I think. For me, it's, it's really neat because it's like the beginning of when like Atos was formed or, you know, like Checkmath, these major teams. So whether they like the guys or not, they definitely have to respect them now. A lot of things have changed. I guess the, the biggest part is the traveling, you know, and being able to teach seminars. We've been doing camps, it feels like every weekend. And the notoriety, we get a lot of fucking messages online about people that are gonna quit jujitsu or are struggling. I can't even count how many messages I got about my story and Memo, I got to show her the episode. I said, Memo, you stole my show. The episode's supposed to be about me. All everybody talked about is you. You're the star now. I got literally like 50 messages from people in Nicaragua saying like, hey, we have schools down here, we train. Like, I didn't even know there was a jiu-jitsu community in Nicaragua at all. I, I had no clue. George Valadares, the guy had never picked up a camera or a computer three months ago. He started doing a uh, YouTube for, for dummies. He just took off. And we just jumped right into it and we went from like a thousand subscribers on YouTube to I think we're almost at 20,000 now in like three months. I think this is going to be a good year for Pedigo Submission Fighting. You start with your back to the camera, turn around instead of the arms crossed this time, if you can give us the number one. They're going to make me do a bunch of poses and try to look tough, even though I'm probably the least tough person in the whole division. You know, I bought my way in, you know, I just paid off Michael Sears. Everyone knows that, though. Perfect, yeah, just like that. Keep going, keep going in, keep going. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> what, what kind of spray do you have? Hopefully not the deadly kind. As always, thanks for doing this, Andrew. Let's talk a little bit about who's number one championships here coming up in September. You know, $250,000 in total uh, prize money, five divisions, eight absolute killers in each division. How did it feel for you when, when, when Michael finally kind of reached out to you and asked you to be a part of this? I'm like that kid that's happy to be involved. You know, I'm just smiling, happy to be here. I, I do think I can beat a lot of those guys, but the problem is everyone is so good that every one of those people could beat any one of the other people. Any one of these matches, I think, could be the finals of the Black Belt Worlds. This is gonna be Andrew's first real test. We're gonna see how he stands up against the champion, the number one guy, the number two guy. And there's literally not one person in the division that couldn't beat anybody in the world. Not just for me personally, but I know it means a lot for the team just to have me on this bracket. And then down the line, it's gonna be Couch. 
you know, down the line. It's going to be the other guys in the team doing what I've kind of like got to pave the road a little bit for them to do. So we got to do a couple announcements. Yeah, so we got we got three people are out of the Who's Number One Championships. Andrew Wiltsy is actually dead. He was mauled to death by a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear broke into his box and tore him to pieces. He had a meniscus injury, but I he's think. he's out. Yeah, yeah he's out. That's yeah, same result, basically. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for the next quarterfinal middleweight match scheduled for a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing Benito Submission Fighting, here is the hill. fucking alternate spot at 185 is the curse. We lost like six people total at 185. People taking the alternate spots just kept falling out for a, a variety of different reasons. And I was like, man, I just need somebody on short notice. I need somebody that'll do this thing even if their fucking leg's broken that's not gonna pull out that shake couch. It's a late addition, sort of a Rocky Balboa type of story. Big time underdog, but if he wins this thing, or even does good, wins a match or two, it will be life changing for him. A lot of money on the line. He posted today that he could buy the entire trailer park he grew up in with this money. Here he comes, right here. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. What's you up? excited? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Something. Took me all day to make that fucking thing. Hey, bro, what's up? <laughs> How's it going? I'm good, man. What are you doing? You get a rental car? We can fit four of you guys in my back seat. We had five in the back seat. We, we can. Put let's, let's put you all in my back seat. We can. We can probably do it, right? Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. We good back there? We good, brother. <laughs> Straight. Just lay him down. We're ready. <laughs> We're gonna get fucking pulled over and arrested. It's alright. It's good for the video. Don't stop filming when we get pulled over, somehow. <laughs> it's probably the biggest opportunity in my life. I'm, I think. I honestly think I can win but I know everybody in the division is really tough. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, man, to just to be here. That's always been my dream ever since I started doing jiu-jitsu full-time was just to go out, hang, slang, and bang with the best, so. Dear Jacob Couch, welcome to Who's Number One. Nine people got hurt, so you got into the tournament. <laughs> Fucking right. I'm nervous every time before I compete. I think like any person that competes is, but pressure-wise, there's no, there's no pressure. I'm a 1500 plus. <laughs> there's not really much pressure on me. I'm not even supposed to fucking be able to hang with these guys apparently. So people will see though. People will see. Uh, Mamma, she was asking me when I compete. I said I compete again in a few weeks. Love you, my champ. Are you gonna bring me a foot home? I hope I can bring her thirty thousand dollars home. I think she'd like that better than a foot. What's it like uh, knowing that so many people watched that episode and fell in love with her too? She hasn't ever got anything back for how good of a person she is. She's been so good to so many people and been did so wrong that people being able to see how good-hearted and kind and loving she is, is, uh, is, is what the lady deserves. The Who's Number One Grand Prix, Andrew Wiltsy got the invite at 185, tore something in his knee and uh, they called us for Jacob Couch. Jacob was about 212, 213 pounds four or five days ago. I was eating the B at Super Heavy because that's what I'm signed up for at the Nogi Pants. And he was like, can you make 85? And I was like, hell yeah, I can make 85. You talking about this weekend? He said, yeah. I said, I'm your guy, I'm your huckleberry. I think a few hours before, Mike texted me. We went to the gas station and they have these like milkshakes you put in the thing, it blends it up. I got two of those and a Mountain Dew and a cookie. So I finished the cookie <laughs> and, then, and then I just started basically the next day cutting, cutting the weight, you know. I'm a brand new brown belt. It's like the fucking opportunity of a lifetime. I get to compete with the best guys in the world for $30,000. Are you kidding me? I'll suffer through a weight cut for that. People where I'm from don't get opportunities like that. I like being able to show people that you can accomplish great things just through a little bit of grit and a lot of hard work.
I'm gonna check my weight. I feel like I'm at 91. It means I got like six left. I'm gonna uh, try to get it all off tonight. That way I can weigh in at 10 a.m. and get some fucking grub going. Cause I am starving. Pure is Can I take this off? Oh yeah, sure. Just for a second. You think that thing is gonna fucking? Dude, I want it off. Fucking difference is gonna the scale, bro. I want it off. Shut the fuck up. I probably be one night. I probably be one night two with these pants on. Now you two have. Fuck. I got a pound and a half more than I thought. What do you got? One night thirty point five. Easy. You got this? Yeah. We about to go get a good sweat and roll in at B team. About to put sauce on these. No, I'm playing. I just need to lose some weight. <laughs> Salsa. Fuck you, Shucky. I ate a few sour patches in a slim gym. I feel good though. Not yet. Still too fat. Way too fat. Well, we just rolled pretty hard and he feels he feels good. So he's only got six or seven pounds left. I mean, I've rolled with some of the guys in the car and I felt them and I, I felt couch and I, I really think he could win. I could, he can win the whole fucking thing and he's just gonna shock everybody. So I'm really excited for him to get out there and, and just do his thing. Yep, that's it. He's rolling good. He does. Uh, he definitely doesn't feel like he weighs 185 pounds. He feels like 200. He's a big boy, strong, big head. That's big guy, big guy. What's up, dude? How are you doing, man? How's the man? Still the biggest fuck. Don't pick me up. Like my fucking finger. What? No, motherfucker, I ain't trying to heal hook your big ass. Come on, come on, come on. No. I'm not going to get out of here. My All right. All right. You, you literally can't move at all, though. You, none of your body can move. Not your hips, your knees, your head, your shoulders, your arms. I just want to see. I want to see how small my legs are. You're going to trip out. <laughs> Damn, you need a pedicure, big O. You got... I'm, I'm not going no harder than this, man. I don't know what you want me to do, but I ain't doing it. Tell, hey, look, look at the camera, say tap. Say it. Never tap. <laughs> Orlando, the girls from back home from couch see that he's in the $30,000 trim. They said the baby's in his now. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I ain't the pappy. I ain't the pappy. Hey, bro, you know the scale? Do you guys have a scale here? Uh, yeah, there's one in, over here. Okay. How much you think you're right? Hopefully about 190. Or at least fucking under 190, that'd be great. I don't know, though. 98, 92, 91.8. Oh, you got an 85? Yeah. Did you check your weight over here? Yeah, 92. Oh, I know. I was 92 after. You are 92 after that? Yeah. I was hoping I would sweat more, but I didn't. You sweat a shitload. Hey, we'll get, we got you. cut about four pounds, just moving around light, kind of flow rolling. So now he'll hit the sauna. He's got about eight more pounds to go. It'll be a rough night, but we'll make it happen. Uh, so I woke up super early because when you cut a lot of weight, it's harder to sleep. And I woke up like every hour on the hour pretty much and then I slept from like 4 to 7 so I'd say I got a pretty much good amount of sleep. I just woke up a few times as well so I'm about to go in here right now and check my weight. What the fuck? There's no way. That's like 187? It did say 187 down there. It said 183. Oh, Get off. He's gone too quick. Probably just sip on this till weigh ins. The hard part's this. Everything else is just everything he does all the time, so. 
I couldn't sleep. I was like too hungry and too fucked up. It felt like it took physical energy for me to speak. The competition, I don't even feel that anxious about just making weight. It's my first time ever real, doing like a real hard cut. Ooh, I did it. I made 85. Now it's time to bang. Oh, yes. Last message from Craig last night. Tell Hillbilly he's about to cause a massive upset. People believe in you, dog. Who said that? Craig Jones. Ever heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get him some good nutritious stuff, just like like healthy or like organic like carbs, fruits and stuff, rather than like heavy stuff like biscuits and gravy, which we will have, just not right now. When he's sitting down in the in a, in, a, in, a, in the diner at the end of the night with a bag full of 30 grand, biscuits and gravy taste a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You want me to grab more? All right, get the 24 pack. Let's get this going. <laughs> so we got couch some of the some clean stuff to snack on throughout the day. Fruit. He's gonna eat this sushi right now. You know, it's just like some good digestible light carbs, protein, some fancy looking fruit drink. It looks good. We're gonna go uh, stick couch with some needles and get them all IV'd up. Yeah, get the real couch out. <laughs> I'm back, baby. In full effect. <laughs> Oh, y'all just got done? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're about to put him in right now. Yeah, yeah, bro. So, what were your goals today? Uh, just to rehydrate. I did like a hard weight cut. I did okay. a so I cut a bunch of weight. All I'm thinking about while he's taking my blood pressure is the competition. So that's why my blood pressure is going up like that. Yeah, they, gave you, they gave you the yellow bag. Yeah, yeah banana bag. Yeah, banana bag. <laughs> yeah, make me stronger than Tyra Tolo. Give me a little IV with that cardio he got. You know what I mean? Motherfucker, don't stop. One, two, three. I feel so much better now that I got food in me, dude. I'm up. I'm alive. His body obviously really needs that because that thing is dripping like a sip. <laughs> like a <laughs> sip. Yeah. You feel different yet? I feel more energized for sure. I think that's probably just from the amount of fluid and food I took in. I'll probably, I don't know. I know this shit helps, so I'm glad I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> I needed it. Yeah, I cut like 10 pounds last night. What? Yeah, I just cut, I just, I went sauna 10, hot tub 10. I did the sauna like four or five times. Yeah, Ten crazy, minutes. Man. I took this turn I put it on like a week's notice. It's for a, a decent chunk of change too. I'm, nice. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty pumped up. Dude, that's awesome. Feel like new. Jake Couch is back. It's your turn. <laughs> You're the hillbilly hammer again. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> It's your boy Alejandro Viner here. Couch about to shock the world. <sighs> Nobody's ready, but we are. He is. I'm excited. I'm, I'm pretty pumped up about this opportunity. Well, well, well. Who it is? The lean, mean fighting machine himself, man. Good to see you. You know you're one of the lightest guys in the bracket? 83? Uh-huh. What? I know. I 
Blow minds, baby, blow minds. But this guy's been ready since he was a young kid. He's always been working hard, and this guy has no fear. He has no fear right here. He's been nice. He's a nice guy. This guy's a beast. He's gonna kill it. All I gotta say is this. You know, in this sport, 99% of the people are talkers. The contract comes, nowhere to be found. This guy's coming in last minute. He's gonna go up against some of the best 185 grapplers. So, win, lose, or draw, honestly, just mad respect, you know. You either finish the match by submission or you win by decision. Hopefully, I don't run into coach yeah. until the finals. I like the free kill. That'd be the goal. If he beats me, he's gotta buy me a fucking Rolex. <laughs> Jacob Couch, the hillbilly hammer, weighing in at 183.8. So, he actually cut. 32 pounds. It's the first time he's been 185 since like preschool. It was a rough three or four days for him. This morning, he was dragging ash, you know, before the weight cut. But it's a small price to pay to be a part of something so huge. It's legendary and that will last forever. I think I can win. I don't, I, that's all I've been thinking ever since I started the weight cut was that I can win. I can win this tournament. I think I can hang with the best guys. And if I don't, it doesn't fucking matter because I'm not supposed to anyway. So there's no pressure on me. I just feel happy to be here. I'm, I'm just going to go out and try to bang with all of them. Leave it all out there. All right, here with middleweight division, we got Roberto Jimenez, John Thor Blank, Johnny Tama, the Hillbilly Hammer, Jacob Couch, Dante Leon, William Tackett on the end, Ty Rotolo. So let's go ahead and get it out of the way. Let's drop this bracket. All right, so there you see it. Ty Rua, Tolo versus Johnny Tama first round. Dante Leon going against John Blank. Roberto versus Couch. And Mika Galvao versus William Tackett. Couch, another late addition, an alternate. How you feeling? You got nothing to lose here. I mean, you're probably a big underdog against Roberto, right? But how you feeling going into the match with Roberto? And how do you think you match up with him? I, I just feel lucky to be here, man. I've been able to go against any of these guys in this in this division, in this bracket. It's always something I've wanted to do. So I've been a big fan of Roberto for a long time. So I'm excited to see what he feels like out there in the competition, man. I've seen Jacob fight, so I expect a, a scrap. Man, I honestly don't even want to talk anymore. I just want to go. <laughs> You're the biggest motherfucker out there, that's for sure. 183. It's crazy. You can wipe them. We've been knowing this. Right, well, Dude, I'm ready to go now. Now I'm wired up. Today the bracket came out, and Jacob Couch's first match is Roberto Jimenez, who arguably is the, the toughest guy in the bracket. In the betting polls, Couch is a plus 1,500. He's not only not supposed to win, but he's supposed to, like, die. We're always the underdogs. We've always been the underdogs. But that makes winning and, you know, like, just doing well, it makes it even more sweet in the end. But to me, Jacob's already a winner, and the team is already a winner in just being here. That's the way it started. Thank you, man. No problem. Thank you, man. Be safe. Thanks, Wish man. you the best of skill, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. How's that feel, huh? Nice? Yeah, it's good. Do you ever think the fame's gonna get the captain? <laughs> nah, it's too big. It's too big. <laughs> Can't have Ain't no fame can circulate this motherfucker. Roberto is arguably the best guy in the division. We know Roberto's a back-chasing machine, so Couch obviously has to keep his, you know, shoulder blades on the mat, and we're gonna be attacking the leg on Roberto. That's not a big secret. If anybody in that division can heel hook Roberto, you know, it would be Jacob Couch. Couch, do you know what uh, Rahul just came up and said to the guys? To who? To, uh, you're just a fellow guys. He asked them, so do you think Micah or William for, an, for a match? Oh, okay. You know what that means? I know what it means. Already looking past you. He's not ready. You're on top of your game, sharp as fuck. They're not ready, man. They're looking past you. They think you just flows little daisy fresh golden boy getting there for views. They don't know that we're gonna get into this position that's right there exactly, and that's gonna be that. It's over. Looking past my boy. Introducing Love it, man.
Right. They love Jacob Couch's ass. Right. They love them. He is the number two ranked middleweight no knee breakwork in the world. Please welcome Roberto. Good, good. Coming forward, coming forward. There we go. Patient, be patient with it. Nice, it's tight, it's tight. Squeeze, hard, hard. Hips, 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 hips. Sigue agarrando esa mano, sigue agarrando esa mano. Eso, sigue agarrando esa mano. Ya saliste, ya saliste. Ya saliste, sigue girando con él. Sigue girando con él, no hay nada. Ya saliste, ya saliste. Nice, it's tight, it's tight. Engage your hips. a lot of money, man, where I come from. That's about what we had left over a month after all the bills were paid growing up. So to have $1,000 for getting a submission in a grappling match ain't too shabby. I feel really good, man, coming into this. I, I was a huge underdog. And you know, I don't feel like it's really fair to myself or my teammates to get upset about that, more just to use it as fuel to go out there and show people that I can hang with the best around. We got in on Roberto's leg really, really quick. Right from the beginning, he got the finish, got the tap. I think, I know, he's definitely turned some heads. The guy's the number two ranked guy in the world. You dominated the match, dominated. The whole, everything we planned, it went perfect. I was really excited for that match. I've been a really big fan of Roberto for a long time now, and it felt really surreal because a few years ago, I remember watching Roberto on the Road to Worlds vlog at Purple Belt and he was just beating the fuck out of everyone. I was like, holy shit, that dude's good. And at the time, I hadn't won no big tournaments or I didn't have a name for myself. I was just like this, this random blue belt kid in Kentucky who wanted to do jiu-jitsu full time and like be one of the best. So being able to see him then and be able to share the competition mat with him this weekend was, a, was an honor. It's looking like Mika Galao is going to be the next match. He's just got his black belt, ran through everybody at brown belt. He's kind of like new on the scene, just kind of tearing everybody up. So it's going to be an awesome test for Jacob. 
he's young and he's flexible and he's athletic. So don't get discouraged if you hook the fuck out of him and he doesn't tap. No matter how tired you get, same shit with Roberto. Laser focus. That's it. So in every match, Jacob always finds himself being the underdog. I think that we thrive in that position, so I think uh, the game plan is the same thing. We're gonna get into the leg lock entries. Nick is extremely athletic, and uh, you know, like, uh, his jiu-jitsu is really sound. I think catch is uh, big enough and strong enough to get into those entries and finish. That's what he's gonna do. That's exactly what he's gonna do. You just can't let him pull your head down okay. like that. If he does it, it's okay, it's free cow. You're gonna duck it out? Yeah, if he pulls your head down, go into the dummy sweep, see what that's gonna do. Okay. This is done, dude, it's yours. Jacob Couch ain't even supposed to be here. A Cinderella story. He is. He's Cinderella. <laughs> it's a big opportunity for us. It's not even just us, it's for every person that's out there to see that they can do it. You did it, you're here. You're 30 pounds heavier five days ago, you cut it. No excuses. You did it. Wait! Good, keep him off your head. Good, take your time, stay focused, focused, focus. Good, nice, keep it up, keep it up. Nice, 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 nice. Keep the entries up, nice attempt. We're 90 seconds in, 90 seconds in, look good, look good. Focused, focused. Gonna pop up knee cut. Here it comes, step in knee cut, step in knee cut. Smart here, Jacob. Be smart. Hitchhike, uh, hitchhike, hitchhike. Yeah, it's all good, baby, that's done deal. Look, this little girl out here is asking for your autograph. She's still out there. That match over with now. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah, how do you spell that? H-A-N-N-E. Here you go, thank you. Thank you. Of course. Dude, you're a champion, bro. 22 years old, still the beginning. Go. Got plenty more opportunity tomorrow. Fuck, I really thought I 
Let's go in. It's just how it goes sometimes, I guess. <clears throat> when you want something and you don't get it, it hurts. And that's part of life. That's part of life. You know, catching out there and got caught in a really, really fast arm bar. Like, and as soon as he stretched out his arm, he could just jump on his fucking arm. It was like the wildest thing I've ever seen. I thought he was passing the guard or something, but then he's in a full blown, like, straight arm bar and he got tight really fast. He did his best trying to get out and he, he had to tap. So that's how it goes sometimes. He was just a little slow, half a step behind, and he just got caught. Good, man. Don't forget, man. Congratulations. Well, you fought also, man. I did pretty well in my first match with one of the top 10 guys in the world, so I can't play around and be too sad about that, you know, just because I got submitted by one of the best grapplers on the planet. Yesterday, our second match, we dropped to Mika Gavao. So now we're back in the consolation. Two more matches to get back for third, 7,500 bucks, really tough bracket. First match, we have John Blank, 10th Planet Killer. He got fourth at the ADCC. Probably the most experienced guy besides Dante in the bracket that's left. John Blank is one of the toughest guys in the bracket. He's an ADCC veteran. This would be like a very, very good high profile win for Couch. This is probably our toughest match to date. Fortunately for us, we put our bodies to like a lot of trauma. We train on days that we're really beat up and he's used to feeling roughed up and having to go out and compete at a high level. So that's something that Couch is ready for and I think he's gonna go out there and give an incredible show to everybody. What's up, dude? How you doing? Nice. <laughs> Good hand fighting couch. Good hand fighting. Good, good stuff, Couch. Keep the pace, keep the pace. Just keep pushing, baby, keep pushing. You look good, Couch. You look good, baby. Good pressure. Hey. I like it, I like it, I like All it. All the way back, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Tighter, you know, tighter, you tighter. The other way, too. You always sweep from the other way. Okay. Nice. Yup, keep working that. Obviously, the umaplata on your left side. Nice. Nice, John. Yeah, that's that's some nice. shit. Keep cutting the angle. Keep cutting the angle. Get the other side. Yeah, yep. Block get his back. For watch, watch for the leg entry. Watch for the leg entry off of this. Good. Only five down. Catch five down. Looking good, baby. Keep it up. Keep it up. Hey, good attempt, Catch. I like it, I like it. Good, stay on him, stay on him, stay on him. You got plenty of time, Catch. You're doing good, man. Keep that pace. Nice. Dragon, nice. Come to the top. Cutting, 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 cutting. Keep that underhook. Jack that left arm up. You can always sweep from back the other way. Nice, 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 John. You can always sweep from back the other way. You can stay there all day. You can stay there. We got to stay tight on that. Clamp it down, clamp it down. You can still pass, you can still pass. There, Couch. Mash, 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 mash. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep nice. it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice, nice. Right up the hip, right up the hip. Watch the leg entry, watch the leg entry. All the way around to your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice. Passing, you're passing, passing, out of boy, out of boy. Let's go, let's go. Nice, 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 nice
Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it. Hips down, those hips down. Hips He's down. coming back down, that a boy, that a boy. Good job. Nice Let's pass, go. nice pass. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's in there now. That's what I told him. He can get in a fight with anybody now. Nobody can turn it down. Yeah, he, 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 he did He'll incredible. He'll hammer. Almost passed his guard, too. Actually, of course, in the ADCC. Yeah, fucking Roberto Alvarez this week. Yeah. No, hey, that was it. If he, Couch. He, he, he. Thanks so much for coming out, bro. Four days notice, you're a legend, bro. Except for Burrow this week. <laughs> Almost passed his fucking guard at the end, too. He just caught you. I know. And shit, you know? Hey, it it's happened. Hey, it's it, it, just the beginning for you, bro. If he, st if he stuck the pass, that, would, that was the biggest thing in the match, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was his yeah, close, yeah. it was good stuff. I tried, man. I tried really hard. Everything you wanted to accomplish, you did that tenfold already. It's been done. All this shit today was just extra credit, extra work. You're a fucking already a legend, literally. No one can ever say no to you or deny you on any sort of platform for any match ever. And you fucking did the thing we came out here to do. Listen, John might be injured from the match. He might be fucked up. So you still might have a chance at other place. But you just told Reed that he's fucked up. He might be hurt. So if he's hurt, you're going to get the shot, possibly. So. All right? He said you're in if he pulls out. Okay, so it's unofficial, yeah. Nice. Did a detective pull against Dante? Yes, pulled right away. Okay. You're in, you attack the third. So, Blink actually injured himself, preventing Cash from passing. He like, pulled his knee too hard and he popped his knee a couple times. So now he's, he's back in. He's gonna fight William Tackett for third place for the set five hundred dollars. So it's a good match for us. It's a very, very winnable match. Cal's gonna do awesome. He always does fucking awesome. He's the kind of guy who you put him in these fucking situations and he comes up. That's what a true champion does. A true champion comes up when he needs to come up. Uh, I think I can lay like William. I think so too. Listen, this this is the last fifteen minutes that there is today. No, yeah, then, then then we're all done. So you've been waiting for it for a long time, man. I think that you are better than him at everything that you guys do. I think that you can pass him. I think that you can leg lock him. I think that you're just good to go. It's game time. Let's go. Let's fucking go, bro. One last one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our next third place match in the middleweight division with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing Brazilian Fight Factory, William Zaki. Good, coming in a pressure pass. Good bite, good bite. Just looking at Chase, gotta keep the heel. I like it. Be ready. Nice, Jacob, nice. Be patient. Nice, nice. 
good, same thing, same thing. You look good, baby. Keep the attack, keep the attack. Good grip. Stay tight when you do this inversion right here. Stay tight, there you go. Good, keep that pressure right there, I like that. Atta boy, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it. More hip pressure, more hip pressure. Atta boy. And we're close, catch, we're close, baby. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. Keep at it. It's coming, Couch. Keep fighting Keep at it. it. Every time it gets hip, tighter. Hip, 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 hip. Man, so close, brother. So You're close. You're doing awesome, Couch. You're doing awesome. Let's go. That's one down, baby. One down. Go. Attaboy. Hey, you the man. Big deep breath here, Couch. Focus, focus. That's it. That's it. I love it. I love it. You look incredible, man. Nice. Make this count. Make this count. There you go. Nice, Couch. Ready Jason. for the back attack. He's coming for the back. Oh. Yes. Right yes. Right to it. Right to it. Right to it. Nice. Nice, Jacob. Good stuff. You're way ahead. Same thing. Same thing. Nice. Stay on it. Stay on it. Focus here, Todd. Focus. Oh, move, gotta move. Move, 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 move. Get in it, move, move, Up and pass it, up and pass it. Let's go. Atta boy, nothing done. Hey, good, good. Still your round. Let's go, we're not resting. Give it to me, Couch, give it to me. We're not losing this here. Let's go, keep it up, keep moving, keep moving. Not exposed in the back, let's go. And he's jumping to take the back here. Let's go, let's go. Slow, he's slow, you're, out, you're, out, you're out, you're out, you're out. Same shit, let's go. There we go, Couch. Going after now, going after. Under two minutes, Couch, let's get it. Got Same this, thing. Couch, man. Hey, you got let's this, finish bro. this one. Get a chance. Hey, we got 115 and finish. We're finishing this strong. Get a man, let's get this. Let's get this. 59 seconds, 59 seconds. I love it. I love it. Let's Let's it. it. Try it again. Try it again. What do you Good. got? Hey, that's it. That's it. That's it. Stop. Split. Split decision to Jacob Couch, boy. Third place winner by judges' decision, Jacob Couch. Jacob Couch, wow. What a weekend. You left it all out there, man. You left, you left it all out there. Growing up on government income, 7,500 is probably a third of about what we got a year growing up as far as our total income. And for me to have that in my hand might be a little dangerous, but uh, I'm gonna try to be smart with it and do, do maybe get a car or something. I hope, I hope everyone that sees this and sees my story can see that. No matter what, if you just believe in yourself and and work hard and dedicate yourself to something, you can be successful. You don't have to come from nothing special. You can get great places just by doing hard work. Come here. Come on. Come on, come on up here. <coughs> flex. Flex like this. You gotta flex. Look mean. Stop smiling so much. Look mean. Uh. <laughs> flex like this. Flex like this. Before I went out with William, I just closed my eyes. I just pictured Mamaw being right in front of me. 
and just telling me I'm the champ and that she loves me and that she'll care for me no matter what. And uh, I think that helped me uh, come away with the victory today. There's a lot of hard times she went through to make my life better. When you're feeling sorry for yourself, you tell yourself like, oh, my back hurts, like this is hard. Or, oh, I just had this match, I'm tired, blah, 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 blah. That's not real adversity. Being broke on your last dollar, not having anything to eat and having to feed six kids is real adversity. Knowing that she dealt with that, how she did and how well she did has helped me a lot in my career and with just everything I've, I've been trying to do. Jacob Couch, he just let everybody know, not, not only is he a contender, Man, he's got championship ability and qualities. He comes in as a plus 1,500 underdog against the number one seed and then taps that guy after cutting 30 pounds in four days. And then wrestles back for third and wins third, all against top 10 ranked black belts. Couch his whole life, I think all he's ever done is like dream and hope. I think he's from a place where people, that's all they have. I think he's finally to the stage where the people that he idolized for the last several years are, are his opponents now. And not only are they his opponents, he's beating them. I just want to show people that it's possible. Because at certain points in my life, I believed that it wasn't. And now when I'm in the position I'm in, I realize that that's not true. And I, I want people to see that. It's a perfect example of literally the American dream and what you can do. Uh, you can come from absolutely nothing. And if you work hard and you dedicate yourself to one thing, you, you can accomplish anything in life and he he literally just proved that right now o over this course this weekend started in a trailer back of some holler in southeastern kentucky and now i'm on one of the biggest stages in the world of grappling and jiu-jitsu doing all right for myself with some of the best guys on the planet my plan one day is to be the best in the world so it's just going to keep climbing happy to show people that they believe in themselves, they can accomplish anything they want to. I did it. I got third and Not too bad for a hillbilly, huh? They say it only takes one small event or action to have the power to change the entire trajectory of your life. 22-year-old Jacob Couch entered the WNO Flow Grappling Jiu-Jitsu Championship, showing everyone that anything is possible if you just believe. In Hazard, Alyssa Williams, WYMT, Mountain News. I was like, Mamaw, I got $8,500. He was like, you got $500? That's awesome. I was like, no, 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 $8,500. And she goes, it's all yours? This is a few Take thousand a flies. Out of that. Oh. <laughs> we have a betting pool. If someone drinks it, they'll get like 300. This move is dedicated in homage to this individual. It's, it's Steve, you just fucking name. Um, Steve Allen. It's Mr. Steve. He's incredible, he's a national fucking hero. That man should still be alive. I wish Katz was dead and he was alive. Thank you so much. I tried to give him a thousand dollars a couple months ago, he didn't have a bank account. <laughs> Where are you gonna put that 7,500 bucks? In a <laughs> Come on. Did you get the shot? No. He's terrible. He's the worst on camera. Garbage. Un unusable. No! <laughs> oh, hey, that's it. That's the match right there. All right, all right, that's good. That's good. Look how they ended up now. I love you. <laughs> Walked into the gym and he had a cowboy hat and boots, and we were like, who the fuck is this guy? The most successful American black belt in IBJJF history joining the Daisy Fresh team. The Rigatoni Ranch. Rigatoni Ranch. 
Everybody knows Mikey, but you know, they don't know the Daisy Fresh Mikey, so we gotta introduce him. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. 